one sentence consciousness is being it's the ground of all experience the majority of scientists do view consciousness as a biological phenomenon uh, they do actually view consciousness as a production of the brain in a lot of cases but of course there are species that don't have brain a paramecium for example doesn't have a brain you know they mate they reproduce they seek food they avoid uh, toxins the pleasure pain principle the attraction repulsion principle which in us is experienced as emotions is there in every organism so there is consciousness in every organism now some people would go even further like uh, freeman dyson and others who say that every quantum experiment forces an atom to make a choice and therefore uh, at the level of uh, quantum uncertainty even atoms and particles have consciousness uh, recently a view has emerged called panpsychism which means that everything is conscious but it's a materialistic world view that too <laughs> because you know if you listen to max tegmark he says consciousness is organized matter when in fact in the eastern wisdom traditions matter is organized consciousness and so you don't need a brain for experiencing consciousness you don't even need a biological organism to experience consciousness because if ontologically reality is immaterial ontologically reality is non physical then this universe that we behold of course as a human experience is an expression of a non local consciousness experiencing itself in all these innumerable ways so the western framework is based on a physicalist ontology which assumes that matter is fundamental reality but even the great western scientists the pioneers of quantum physics like niels bohr and uh, wolfgang pauli and schrodinger they were convinced that uh, the essential nature of the material world was that it's not material max planck and and recently uh, hans peter doer was the director of the max planck institute said matter is not material okay matter is an experience in consciousness matter is made up of force fields and energy fields and uh, subatomic particles but these particles are not material entities because before they are observed or before waves collapse into particles there are fields of possibility and where are these fields of possibility they're everywhere and nowhere uh, which means they're non local they're in consciousness consciousness conceives governs constructs and becomes the material world including a brain when we look at a brain where do we experience it in consciousness right when you look at an uh, at your own brain uh, in an mri where do you experience it in consciousness there's no experience of a brain in the brain there's only electrochemical phenomena which are also experienced in consciousness you can't get behind consciousness you know that's why um max planck said mind is the matrix of all matter matrix mother mater mom mata as human beings uh, if we are a little bit aware even a little bit self aware then we wonder about the nature of existence we and wonder uh, about who we are uh the purpose and meaning of being here uh we wonder about the meaning of death 
uh, we wonder about uh, facts or issues like do we have a soul um, does God exist and if God exists then does he she it uh, think about us and why should it I mean after all we're planet earth is a speck of dust in what scientists would call a mindless void and we are just a little piece in the junkyard of infinity and so it doesn't matter right but we would like to think that it does matter because we think that we matter okay there's a nice um, phrase there, consciousness matters, okay, consciousness becomes matter, so it matters as a verb. Um, I think the reason um, we uh, need to understand consciousness is not knowing ourselves and not knowing the true nature of ourself is the cause of a lot of suffering, okay, because when we don't know ourselves and we think of ourselves as separate from all that exists, then obviously that creates conflict, that creates um, violence, that creates cravings and repulsion, it creates false identity of an assumed self, and it creates the fear of death. In the, in the ancient uh, wisdom tradition of Vedanta, these are called the five kleshas, the five causes of suffering, not knowing your true identity, uh, craving for that which doesn't exist because it's impermanent. Everything is impermanent. It's a fluctuation. And you're trying to fix the flux all the time. And it's unfixable. The flux is unfixable. Repulsion or aversion to the impermanence also because you're afraid of it. Identifying with uh, your skin encapsulated ego which is totally imagined. And finally the fear of death. So these uh, are all related. They are not knowing the true nature of reality, which is consciousness and which as the ground of being is you, is me, is all there is.